Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Huesman and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube, throwing it back old school with a what is in my handbag video. This will be what is in my fall handbags. I actually have two of them because I alternate based on what I'm wearing, what I'm doing, where I'm going. So I'm going to show you the essentials that I keep in both of these. So if you want to see that, keep watching. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me out as a small creator. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which right now is Mondays and Thursdays. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm just, I'm trying to film. No, I'm not giving you enough attention. You want to be in the video, pup? Well, today we have a very special guest who decided she wanted to lay on my lap. This is my dog, Capacitor. We call her Cat for short. And I figured since today is already like a chill, kind of on the floor video, why not let her tag along? I thought this would be a really, really fun video. I did one that was what's in my work bag, but I never have done one that's my personal bag. And now that we're all working remote, I don't really carry a work bag. So definitely thought it was time to update it for fall. And the two bags I carry are my Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag. This one is more my go-to, but if I have a busier day and I need to pack more or I'm just running to the store, or maybe my outfit just looks cuter, I go with this bag. Oh, and she has lost interest. Well, we had her for a bit, it was fun. For the items I'm about to show you for the Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag, they almost never all go in at once. I don't think they would all fit but I will tell you which ones are the essentials and which ones I throw in depending on my activity. For my Louis Vuitton Neverfull, there's a couple items that only go in here, but most everything goes in here at all time. So starting off with the absolute essentials is my wallet. And I actually just upgraded from this monogrammed Madewell wallet because it has my old initials on it to this, the daily edit one, which has my new initials and it just says NMH in gold. And I think it is so cute. It's a Saffiano leather and it just opens to be like a mini card holder with a slot for bills and coins. And this is exactly what I was looking for because I hate the full size wallets. I think they take up way too much room and room is a capital resource when you're dealing with the Sicily bag. So small wallet, monogrammed, very cute. And then also from the daily edit, I have my keys so i know this doesn't look like keys this is a key pouch maybe everyone knows about this and i'm just late to the game but i thought this was so cool when i saw it so you have a keychain for your keys but they actually fit inside this little leather pouch and it keeps the keys from scraping up your bag or the things in your bag and it just keeps everything organized and so i just thought this was so perfect, especially because these are my first designer bags and I'm definitely babying them a little bit. But this is also monogram with my initials in gold and you'll see I'm very into monograms and leather, so there is a theme. <laughs> you will see this again. Next up is a portable charger and I have these two from Mophie. This one I got when I was an internet Facebook as a gift from the company and this thing was the first portable charger I actually liked. I hate having to carry the charger and the cord. And so this actually contains the cord in it and it just comes out and it's a lightning cord. But if you take the lightning cord off portion, it is a micro USB. So this has proved just so wonderful. I love the color. I love that you can press it to see how much charge is left. I think this is from 2016. So it's definitely getting older and it doesn't hold a ton of charge just because it is older. So I recently, as in like a couple days ago, upgraded to the Mophie XL power bank. And this one also has the light up feature and has a iPhone cord in the back, which is really cool, but it doesn't have that micro USB. It does have a port for attaching an external cable, but I hate bringing external cables. So I normally pack this one in my small bag or if I'm using any sort of electronics that require micro USB, but I have been packing this one if there's room for it or in my bigger bag just because it holds more of a charge and so I can recharge my phone more. But especially these days, everything is on your phone. I find it so, so important to have a charged phone for safety, for like I pay with things using my phone, I check into my gym using my phone. So everything requires my phone and when it dies, I'm literally lost because I have to use a GPS to get home. Next up is my phone and this is an iPhone 8. It is very old because I kept losing my 10s and I just said, you know what, the 8 is cheaper. So it is this phone and it comes in this really cute like opal case and 
I considered doing a what's in my phone video, but I just thought that would be so boring. So if you want to see it, let me know in the comments, but I don't love watching them on YouTube, but if y'all would, I'm happy to make that content. So let me know down below. The next absolute essential item that I carry with me in every bag, be it purse, gym bag, whatever, is my business card case. I have had so many instances in the last year where I wanted to give someone my phone number in a more professional way and I didn't even have a pen and paper. So I had to just try and look them up later. So with this, I just always carry with me a professional business card for work as well as a personal business card with my personal information for side projects or just as like a calling card. I think it is so great to have these. I don't think many people carry them, especially 23 mm, year olds. So when you can bring out a business card, it just, you know, it's much more professional. The next essential is a mask. Unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, unfortunately we live in a world that has gone crazy so i carry a mask with me at all times if i'm in my smaller bag i'll normally just carry one mask but normally i'll bring this entire pouch i use this pouch to keep my extra masks as well as to throw my wipes into to make sure everything is organized and stays together and it makes it easier to just pull this out and put it from bag to bag because a lot of times i'll get to a place and like I just have specific preferences for masks based on if it's raining, if it's hot, if I'm working out. So I like to have options and I like to be able to just kind of like pick and choose. And if I just always bring it, then I never forget a mask. The next essential for me that does go from bag to bag are my AirPods. And this is also from the Daily Edit, also with a pink monogram. And I just love listening to music in the store, anywhere I go, really. I love music. I think it makes even the most mundane tasks easier. So I'm almost always on my AirPods. I take calls on them. I listen to music, podcasts, YouTube videos. So these always come with me. I, I honestly, maybe these are more of what's in my pocket. No, but I don't have pockets in my clothes. This honestly follows me around just all day. The last thing that I keep in both bags, no matter the size, is this very cute little compact touch-up bag but it is deceivingly it looks and kind of fits deceivingly small but i can get an entire tide pen in this thing so i'll show you what's inside these are the miniatures of what i consider an essential to have on me at all times so the first is a tide to go pen i wear a lot of light colors and i love pasta so the combination means i get a lot of stains and a tide pen can just kind of quickly dab it out so that you don't stain your clothing or at least gives you a fighting chance next i keep my favorite lipstick which is the nars dolce vita lip pencil and i wear this almost every day so it's really easy just to touch up then i have the elizabeth arden eight hour clear lip stick I guess it's just their eight hour cream in like a lip balm and i think it's perfect for staying hydrated and i actually like the lipstick i think it's easier to apply more sanitary than putting it on your finger and then putting it on your lips maybe that's just me then i keep a little hair tie this is more for my friends if they ask for one less for me i keep just some q-tips for makeup touch-ups some band-aids for uncomfortable shoes a small little perfume this one's victor and rolf flower bomb i got this in an alert beauty box i just anytime i get a mini perfume i'm like this is perfect to put in my bag so i do stock up when i get these i like save them for my purses and then i just have an extra pair of contacts because if one falls out i, I i'm blind i can't even drive home so it's like a safety thing for me to have these <laughs> honestly and the next items are ones that i bring depending on where i'm going or i just keep on my louis vuitton never full so i those are the number one is sunscreen i would say i have this with me 90 percent of the time even in my small bag but if i'm going out and i know it's just going to be a quick errand and i've recently applied i don't bring it but if i'm going out for more than two hours you have to reapply sunscreen throughout the day so even though i'm wearing makeup i do use either this or the goop super super goop the goop spf spray it smells horrible it kind of makes your skin tingle but you know sunscreen so i carry this with me just in case and also i cannot tell you how many times i'll do something outside this summer and one of my friends will be like i didn't put sunscreen on this morning and i'm like don't worry i got you in the same vein as the sunscreen are my sunglasses and these again come with me most of the time when it's not nighttime and these are just one of my favorite ray-ban pairs i think they're so like old school glamorous 
and they go so well with my new bangs. Next up, I try and always bring these with me if I know I'm gonna be eating or drinking, and that is a reusable straw and reusable silverware. I got these at Anthropology, and this I just got off Amazon. I can link it down below. And I'll link something similar because I think this was a clearance sale, but these actually are, these aren't plastic. They're like, they're from Porter, and they're actually like stainless steel. They're so nice. I find this nicer than using plastic cutlery for sure, and that encourages me to use a lot, and then I'm not using single-use plastic. I don't know if my individual contribution makes an effort, but I don't want to find out that it was that it could have and I didn't do it. Next up, I have my hairbrush. I got a tangle teaser. I originally just got it because it doesn't have a handle. It's really compact, but I really like the way it brushes hair. And then lastly, I have this gorgeous water bottle from Hydro Flask. And yes, this does fit in the bottom of my Sicily bag. However, there's not much room for much else, but I almost always have a water bottle with me if I'm driving my car. I don't put it in my purse. I just leave it in the car. And this keeps it cold because it's vacuum sealed. It's the most beautiful. It's called Fog, but like purple color. They did not have pink or beige. I checked. So this was the next best option. And it keeps my ice super cold, drink super cold, super easy to drink out of. And I'm just a really big fan of this company. I honestly think it, the stainless steel inside makes the water like taste better. Like if I get a... If I get a water bottle out somewhere, like if I would never buy one, but if someone hands me one, if that's the only option for water, I would pour it in this and drink it. I wouldn't drink it out of the bottle because I just think it, it's better out of this water bottle. And then if I have room or if I know I'm going to be waiting somewhere or have extra time, I love to bring my Amazon Kindle and I just love reading books. I'm right now reading, let's see what I'm on. Right now I'm reading Truly Madly Guilty and I normally just go through the Reese Witherspoon book club and pick a new one off of that because they haven't let me down yet. And I just love reading self-help books. I love reading career books, just anything I love reading. And so I just like to have it. This was a game changer when I realized I could have all of my books with me. It took me a while to adjust from like page turning. But now when I go back to page books, I'm like, oh, there's like always one side of the book that's not fun to read. It, maybe that's just me, but I, I just like having all my books with me and I feel like I've read more books because of the Kindle. So that is what is in my fall handbags. Thank you so much for watching. As always, all of the products or products similar will be linked down below. So go check those out if you wanna get anything that I mentioned in this video. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me out as a small creator. Hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is Mondays and Fridays. Well, friends, have a good day. Bye.